What's good, beautiful people? It's your girl Tay. I'm here yet again with another update video. So I got a lot of things that I want to talk to you guys about. Most likely not going to get through everything in this video, so you're going to have to stay tuned for tomorrow's video to get the rest of the information. But definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, plus push your post notification bell button so that way anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. So today we're going to be going over all things EBT, all things pandemic EBT. So we've got some more states that have been approved for pandemic EBT and I want to give you guys those names as well as the payout dates for the new states that have been added to that list and then on top of that I'm going to go over the names of the states that are still awaiting their benefits for the emergency snap for February and then I'm also going to give you the names of the states and the payout dates for the states that have been approved for March as well as the payout dates okay so starting first let's go over February Okay, so we have California, March 7th, D.C., February 27th, and then March 6th. You guys should have received something today. And I just wanted to clarify for Alabama, I said February 25th in one of my previous videos. It is actually supposed to be deposited February 25th, and then you should have received it or it should be available February 26th. So I do apologize for that. Uh, Georgia, February 24th through the 27th. Hawaii, March 8th. Iowa, March 1st through the 10th. Kansas, March 15th through the 24th. North Carolina, February February 22nd through the 28th, and then March 1st through the 3rd. Um, uh, Vermont, March 15th. West Virginia, final run on March 9th. Connecticut, final run yesterday, February 26th. Alabama, again, you should have received it February 26th. Alaska, March 1st through the 10th. Arkansas, final uh, run February 25th. Maryland, all month long, so you've got today and tomorrow. Michigan, February 18th through the 28th, and then the first week of March. Uh, New Hampshire, they should have done um, some dates in February, but they're also going to do it again in March, March 2nd, 5th, 9th, 16th, and 23rd. New Mexico, all month long. Delaware, February 24th. South Dakota, March 24th and 31st. Utah, February 28th. Uh, Wisconsin, final and late reinstated cases um april 10th and then louisiana final dates february 25th and march 4th and then nebraska march 8th to be available march 9th so for nebraska march 8th deposited available march 9th okay so that was for february now just to clarify, I know I spoke to you guys about the Golden State Stimulus for California, but it said when I got back on there, I did a little bit more research. I still haven't seen a whole lot more information to clarify exactly how these benefits are going to be dispersed. Nothing much has changed from the last um, bit of information that I was able to give you, but it says California Golden State Stimulus is expected to go out in approximately a month after you file your 2020 state taxes. Cal recipients may receive debit cards with a one-time payment by mid-March. Other details are still being worked out. So for SSI, um, beneficiaries, SSDI, you, they're still working out those details on how they're going to distribute those payments. Um, for CalWORKs, one site says debit card, the other, start, the other site says that you'll receive it on your EBT card, okay? And then for those who are qualifying based off of their um, California state earned in, income tax credit that they would have had to um, claim on their 2020 taxes, it says that you should receive that approximately a month or let's just say four to five weeks after you file your state taxes, okay? So I just wanted to give that bit of information. Now, before I jump any further into more payout dates, one bit of information that I also wanted to give you guys is in regards to the um, SNAP replacement benefits for the state of Texas. So on that note, I did give you guys some information regarding that yesterday, but then I found another article that says that there are recipients, and this article is, um, or was, I should say, um, put up first thing on the 24th. So it's just a couple of days old. The information may have updated since then, but not too much. Recipients in 66 counties, I have heard it could be more counties than that as of right now. But right now, recipients in 66 counties currently receiving automatic replacement benefits do not need to take any action or call 211 to receive your replacement benefits if you suffered any type of um, food that was damaged or anything in regards to the storm and the disaster, okay? Benefits should be on your Lone Star cards by March 4th. It will only be a percentage of your February 
benefits. So you won't get everything back. They're going to give you a percentage, which I don't know how they would know, but they're going to try to give you what they think could have possibly been lost, considering the fact that the storm wasn't all month long, I'm assuming. Um, so based on the, the, the amount of time, I'm assuming that maybe you were without water, you were without electricity, things of that nature, whatever it was, they're going to give you a percentage of it. it doesn't say what the percentage is. It just says a percentage of it. Okay. These are the current counties and it's going to take me a minute to get through all of them. So please forgive me um, if I murder these names. SNAP recipients can also use their food benefits for hot foods and ready to eat meals. So this is also for Texas, only for Texas. You guys, you can receive your EBT benefits, your food benefits to purchase like rotisserie chicken or sometimes they have ready-made meals um, in those stores that you can purchase you can use that for that okay so the 66 counties include Angelina, uh, Aransas, Bastrop, Blanco, Borden, Brazario, Brewster, Burnett, Calhoun, Chambers, Colt, Colorado, Comanche, I'm hoping that's Cook, C-O-O-K-E, Delta, Duval, Eastland, Edwards, Falls, Frio, Galveston, Garza, Gillespie, Glasscock, I think, uh, Goliad, G-O-L-I-A-D, Hasco, Erion, Jim Wells, Kennedy, Kerr, Kenny, Knox, LaSalle, Leon, Liberty, Live Oak, Lano, which is L-L-A-N-O, Loving, Lynn, Martin, Matagorda, Again, I'm sorry, Makula, M-C-C-U-L-L-O-C-H, Medina, Menard, Mitchell, Montgomery, Oldham or Oldham, O-L-D-H-A-M, Parker, Regan or Reagan, Refugio, Refugio, San Patricio, San Saba, Stephen, Sterling, Sutton, Terrell, Throckmorton, Trinity, Upton, Uvalde, Valverde, Waller, Williamson, Young, Zapata, and Zavala. Okay, so those who do not live in these counties will have up until the March thirty up until March thirty first to report SNAP food loss and request replacement benefits. Recipients in these counties must apply for replacement benefits. SNAP recipients in the sixty six counties can also report other food loss and ask for additional benefits up until March the thirty first. So again, you guys, I gave you information information on the um, video I did yesterday saying that you need to download the form H155 online and then submit it by fax or mail, snail mail. And there was a uh, information in my previous video. So you're going to have to go and check that out. All right. So that is it for that. In other news, um, in Texas, I recently saw that one Texans actually filed a $1 billion class action lawsuit after receiving a $9,000 electricity bill. A woman says Gritty, the utility provider, automatically withdrew $1,200 from her account from February 13th through the 18th, and her overall bill from February 1st through the 19th was $9,546. The lawsuit states that the same that some customers had bills as high as $17,000. I, I couldn't imagine. There's no way an average uh, home bill has a, uh, incurred that amount of money. Um, I don't care how long the power was out. There's no way. $9,000, $17,000. I mean, I've got a lot of kids in my household, and we run electricity here pretty often. When it's hot, we have all the fans on in the household, and I still barely break $200 here. Um, but from what I read... First, it was the storm, then it was program infrastructure. So they don't even know what the problem was, why there was no electricity, excuse me, in, in these areas. At first, they were trying to say it was because of the storm, and then there were other reports that saying that it was because of the programming infrastructure, pretty much that they just weren't prepared for a disaster like this. And it took this storm to come and knock everything um office foundation. So I, I think that this, if anything, is just another show of proof that we have been failed by our government. You know what I mean? Um, funds are approved, but not dispersed. Unemployment claims are still stuck in limbo in several cities and states. People already hurry and struggling. Now let's throw a $10,000 bill on top of that. So it just doesn't make any sense to me. If anything, I feel like, again, this should be um, things that they should take into consideration and under advisement. They really don't have things as under control as they think that they do. If people are still going through these things, I mean, how can you send someone a, a $10,000, $17,000 bill and expect them to be able to pay for it when they may not even be working, may not have the ability to pay for it? But I'm going to stop y'all because y'all know I will keep going on and on. Oh, no. Um, now.
other information that I wanted to give you guys before I get into, so I'm done with this. I have to go through and erase stuff so that I won't keep repeating the same thing to you guys over and over and over again. Another bit of information that I have found that I wanted to give you guys really quickly before I go over the uh, names of the states and the payout dates for Pandemic EBT. Um, there was some information that came out yesterday. The Federal Com Communications um, Commission voted unanimously on Thursday to adopt a program that provides emergency discounts of up to $50 per month toward broadband internet for low-income households. The emergency broadband benefit programs um, program also provides up to $75 per month for households on Native American land and a one-time discount of up to $100 on a tablet or computer for those who qualify. The $3.2 billion for a program, I'm sorry you guys, I'm talking to my daughter who's behind the computer bothering me when she knows I'm doing something important. No, you can't use that. Use the rest of that one first. Um, the $3.2 billion for the program was approved by Congress in December as a part of a $900 billion coronavirus package, the package that they passed a long time ago that they keep talking about. I don't know why. And this is my point. They have so much money that's left over from that package that they passed in, um, what, did, what do you call that, in uh, December, then I do agree that they should be dispersing those funds and utilizing it to the best of their ability, and they're not doing that. That still doesn't mean that they should hold up this current stimulus package, which, by the way, you guys, the um, Ways and Means Committee, uh, Commit Committee, Committee and all of that, they did vote and they did pass the bill uh, as of early this morning. Today is Saturday the 27th. They did pass that bill early this morning. So now what that means is that it's going to go to the Senate next week, hopefully, so that they can pass it in the Senate quickly, hopefully in time before the benefits from the last package expires, you guys. So what they're hoping will happen in the Senate is they have a 50-50 even split, meaning they have 50... Um, the other one was already open. Y'all need to pay attention. Stop opening up all these cartons of milk. I'm sorry. But they the, the red box was already open. You should have looked in there first. There is... Um what was I going to say? They have 50 Republicans and they have 50 uh, Democrats in the Senate now. So they're hoping that all of the 50 Democrats will actually vote yes on this package. So that way, if they need the tiebreaker, which most likely they will, then they can just use Vice President Kamala Harris to get them their 51 votes. And then we don't have to worry about the Republican opposition. So that's what they're hoping for. But again, it's all going to depend on whether or not every Democrat in the Senate is going to vote yes on this package. We know that there has been some pushback, but as I as of right now, the one major thing that was an issue for most people outside of the fact that the stimulus checks are not phasing out quickly is the fact that they have that 15 dollar minimum wage hike in there that did not pass the senate parliamentarian they took that out and said that it goes against the rules of the budget reconciliation so hopefully with that not being in the bill as of right now they can just pass it quickly and then move on to the next step in the process bye um so moving on back to what i was telling you guys about when it comes to the the uh discounts for internet Okay, I don't remember where I left off, but basically you get $50 a month um, for broadband internet services for low-income households, and then they want to give $75 a month for uh, households on Native American land, and then you can also receive a one-time discount of $100 on a tablet or computer um, if you qualify, all right? So like I was saying, this money is coming from leftover funds from the... Uh, bill that they passed in December, the one that gave us a $600 stimulus checks, says the FCC still has to set up the program to approve applicants for the program and bring internet service providers on the on board. So the lack of the of consistent internet service has definitely been a concern for them. You know, there's a lot of kids that are at home. They're doing homeschooling. They're saying that there's a lot of people who are basically pulling up into parking lots or walking up to parking lots and kind of sitting in their cars or sitting in the in the lobby wherever they can or outside trying to catch Wi-Fi signal so that their children can do their homework. So they're trying to do this. However, they still don't have it up and set up as of right now. So they're going to have to wait. Um, I think it says give them about 60 days, so two months, and they should post some more information with the link for an application where you can go and sign up for this. Okay, so I thought that information was actually pretty useful. I know I'm going to look in trying to get it. Um, but yeah, 
So, the last thing that I wanted to give you guys in this video is, again, the names of the states that have currently been approved for Pandemic EBT, as well as the payout dates for just the new states. I'm not going through all of them because it's a lot of information, okay? So, for Pandemic EBT, currently we have Alaska, Arizona, Connecticut, Delaware, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, New Mexico, North Carolina, Ohio, Puerto Rico, and Rhode Island, South Carolina, Tennessee, Vermont, Washington, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. So, the information that I was able to find for Washington, benefits issued from the start of the school year through January as soon as it's possible, remaining months of the school year in two-month increments, each issuance for previous two school months. Okay, so that was for Washington. For Arizona, benefits are expected to pay out in March for October, then April for November, then payments will follow this schedule. So May, May benefits, you will receive benefits in May. For months December through April, you will receive benefits in June from the months through May and then July, August, September for any past month. So each month, each monthly issuance over a two week period after regular EBT benefits are distributed based on the child's last name. OK, now for Kentucky. Begin, they will begin to issue benefits for the months of October 2020 through February 2021 within 25 days of the plan approval. Um, the website states that the plan approval was February 24th, 2021. So 25 days from there, I think. Um, October benefits will go out first. Then the remaining benefits will be issued in a one-month benefit increments every two weeks until all benefits are issued. Benefits for March through June retroactively on a monthly basis by the 25th calendar day of the following month. So that's all for Pandemic EBT. Now, last but not least, you guys, we've got the March emergency snap allotment so there's only five states that have been approved but i'm going to give you those five states as well as their payout dates so we have california april 18th dc march 10th and april 3rd hawaii april 12th new jersey march 1st through the 5th regular issuing states wisconsin march 20th and then late and reinstated cases may 8th so that's all i got for you guys today remember I'm sorry, you guys. I, I had to go ahead and do my outro one more time. I don't know why. It's a Saturday morning. Everybody know I'm busy in this household, including the grown adults, but they find it. I don't even know. I have no idea, you guys. I'm just talking to just be talking. But anyways, remember to live, love, and elevate. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video, hopefully with less distractions, because I don't know what's wrong with everybody today, but they sure finna hear my mouth as soon as I click off of this video. Peace.